This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, March the 11th, 2019. Today is the feast day of one of the wonderful, simple saints. Blessed John Rigi, or Giovanni Battista Rigi, if you prefer, was born in 1469 in Fabriano, Italy, to wealthy parents. He left the wealth and became a Franciscan OFM, that's the Order of Friars Minor, Remember that Francis founded the order as an order of poor little brothers, the Friars Minor. But as with most religious orders, branches formed. And so the Franciscans have conventuals and capuchins and so-called third order for lay people. John Rigi joined the OFMs and lived as a hermit at Cupermontana from 1511 until his death in 1539. And that's it. That's his story. He didn't found anything. He didn't travel broadly. He never met the king or the pope. He wasn't martyred in an horrific tale of woe. He was a simple man who embraced holiness and poverty and chastity and obedience. He was a well-liked preacher, and some believed he even worked healing miracles. But mostly, he was a simple saint. He was beatified in 1903, he's not yet been canonized. Still, he's a valuable reminder that while some saints have big, dramatic stories, most of us will live and die in simplicity. There's great holiness to be found in that. Today in the United States, it's Johnny Appleseed Day. John Chapman was born in 1774 in Massachusetts. He was a conservationist and an advocate for, of all things, the apple tree. He was renowned for his simple ways, for his easygoing manner. Strangely, he got wrapped up in a new religion called Swedenborgianism and considered his famous journeys across the northern United States and southern Canada planting apple trees and talking about the values of apple trees to be actually a quasi-religious sort of thing. Johnny Appleseed, along with Casey Jones and Paul Bunyan and a few others, form an odd, nostalgic group of icons of Americana, which paint a difficult time in American history through the romantic lens of hard work, paying off and pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps. He died on March the 18th, 1845, but today is celebrated as Johnny Appleseed Day because we're in the prime of apple planting season. Today in 1936 was the birthday of U.S. Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. He was born in Trenton, New Jersey, graduated from Georgetown and Harvard Law, and was seated on the Supreme Court in 1986. What makes Scalia interesting is his Catholic faith. Court watchers know that the U.S. Supreme Court has been filled to overflowing with Catholics for a long time. Scalia, though, was one of the very first to be ostentatiously and uncompromisingly religious in his belief and his practice. And he was genuinely formed by both the theology of the church and by her living tradition. He cited St. Thomas More and St. Augustine in his decisions. The echoes of Pope St. John Paul II and St. Pius X are easily seen along with St. Thomas Aquinas' understanding of anthropology and culture, human community, which are the basis of the Catholic Church's teaching on government and economy and justice. Scalia's Sunday Mass of choice was the traditional Latin Mass at Old St. Mary's in Chinatown, just two blocks from his favorite lunchtime haunt, an unremarkable Chinese joint, where he and Associate Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg often went to disagree amiably and respectably over a nice dim sum. Antonin Scalia lived his faith in a way very few major players in our government have, and his sudden death in 2016 was really and truly shocking. Still, his decisions are now a part of our U.S. history. They live on, and they speak to a man steeped in love for Jesus and his church. And couldn't we use a few more of those in the upper echelons of government? The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.